Hey guys, this is Mark Yo here and welcome back to my channel. I've been using the latest Mid Ranger, the Honor X9A, for almost a month already. This phone really surprised me in a lot of ways. So, without further ado, let's get started, guys. Firstly, it's definitely the display. Slightly curved display, but it doesn't interfere with scrolling as the power injection is actually done very nicely. 6.67 inch Full HD 1080p OLED screen and the colors on the display is really really good to be honest. And the peak brightness can go up to 800 nits which is not bad for a mid-ranger phone. And guys look at the bezel. It's so minimum especially at the chin here. So minimal. Usually you only get this kind of design on flagship phones but Honor really go all out this time and I really really appreciate it. Look at the chin guys. This is the latest iQ11 and this is my Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra which I've been using for two years already. And see, the chin comparison is so minimal. Not only that, the Honor X9 display supports 120Hz refresh rate which makes scrolling really really smooth and enjoyable. And also, it has a 300Hz of touch sampling rate, which is useful. So for some of you gamers out there, who play Call of Duty, PUBG for example. And since this is an OLED screen, it supports on-screen fingerprint unlock, which is fast and accurate. However, one of the great selling points for this X9A is the glass protecting the display which is actually similar to the Kunlun glass on the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. The glass is really, really durable. Ouch! And if you guys have seen my previous video on the Honor X9A durability test, you will know what I mean. Here are some clips of the test I did previously. The design of the phone is Honor Signature Design. You have a rounded signature camera module and the back is made of glass also. The frame is plastic. However, it looks and feels nice in the hand. One thing to add on is that you have an IR blaster uh, which you can actually control your electrical appliances like your TV, your aircon, etc. etc. This phone is very very thin at 7.9mm only and very light at 179g although it has a huge 5100mAh battery. Seriously guys, other phone manufacturers should make phone this thin but still retain the huge battery. Talking about battery, it's huge at 5100mAh battery and it doesn't disappoint. I'm able to get around 9 to 10 hours at least of screen on time using 5G network with at least 2 days of battery life. And Honor is kind enough to include a 40 watt charger, supercharger, which is able to charge this phone around 40 and 45 minutes from 0 to 100%, which is also impressive. One thing to add on is that this phone is running on Honor Magic UI 6.1 skin, which is based on Android 12. There's only one variant sold in Malaysia, 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage. However, you can expand the RAM virtually up to 5GB. Well, let's talk about performance. The X9A is powered by Snapdragon 695 5G processor, which is power efficient for your day-to-day -day tasks. App installation and opening is very fast. No hiccups. However, this is not a phone for heavy gamers. Yes, you can play Genshin Impact, PUBG with no issues, but only with medium graphic and frame rate. Even for PUBG, you can get smooth ultra only, which is quite consistent with other phones using Snapdragon 695. Balanced ultra, HD high, 
and that's all guys one thing I like about this spoon is that it runs very cool even after long hours of usage even after I ran under the benchmark it doesn't really get hot easily there's a triple camera setup at the back of this phone 64 megapixel main shooter and 5 megapixel ultrawide lens and under sufficient lighting the photos turn out to be good even night mode also not bad and there's a 2 megapixel macro lens which is nothing to shout about as for re video recording you can only shoot up to maximum 1080p at 30fps and there's no video stabilizer so your movement can only be very minimal to avoid video turn out to be shaky do check it out the samples after this Lastly is the speaker. There's only one single firing speaker at the bottom, which is a bit of a turn off for me. Luckily, the single speaker is still very loud most of the time. So let me know what you guys think. So there you go guys, my full review of the latest Honor X9A, which I think is a good mid-ranger to consider. You get an awesome curved OLED display, which is protected with super durable glass similar to golden glass, and classy design, which is thin and light. High refresh rate and high touch snapping rate. Awesome battery life and fast charging. The camera performance is just okay for me. So do let me know if you have any questions. Until then, Take care, stay safe, and peace, guys.